And now we move from belly laughs to beers. Sometimes they do go hand in hand. Ever <laughs> dream of making your own cold ones? Well, perhaps you have, but you're not ready to turn your basement yet into a brewery. Well, the guys at Newton Center's Hopsters want to help. You bring the recipe. They've got the hops. Something is definitely brewing at Hopsters. It's all about making your own handcrafted beer. Customer gets to be the, you know, the brewer. Josh Bousquet is the brewmaster here. It's like a chef, you know, I enjoy putting all those different things in beer and experimenting to see what we're going to get in the end. You can make up to 30 different types of beer from our recipe. But if you have an idea of something that you'd like to make, then uh, we'd love to do that too. Today, locals Dave and Sam are trying to agree on what to brew. So when it comes to beer, what kind of beer do you like to drink? Is you prefer a lighter beer or, or a darker beer? They settle on an American pale ale and head off to the ingredients room. So we want 12 ounces of the caramel 40 malt. They start by measuring out the grain, grinding it down and pouring out some malt for color, flavor and, you guessed it, alcohol. We're going to get some hops. We're going to use some Chinook. Got to give that a smell. Today's recipe calls for three different kinds of hops. So the first one we want to weigh out is our citra. Ingredients in hand, it's off to the copper kettles. We guide them, but they make mistakes sometimes. They uh, learn from their mistakes and they come back and they're uh, interested in brewing it again and seeing if they can make it better. So now we're going to add our liquid malt extract. This is basically our barley sugar. This is where all of the alcohol comes from, a lot of the flavor, the color. I did see a little bit of malt extract come off the bottom too, so you want to give it a good stir. Because if it's not wet, the hops aren't actually, you know, doing anything. They have to be good, good and saturated in the wort, so they're actually letting off the lupulins and the hops. Many of these ingredients come from Hopster's farm in Dudley. I'm going to put that in here, and that'll go to our pigs. <coughs> pigs? There's still a lot of great sugars in that barley, and let me tell you, the pigs love it. And Hopster's loves its pigs. Serving up their own mouth watering, locally made charcuterie. The food was great. Once your brewing's done, yeast is added and the beer goes downstairs to ferment. Two weeks later, you come back to bottle your brew. It's like brewing in your living room. You've got TVs, a leather couch, uh, we've got good atmosphere, a jukebox, play any music you want, put on any game you want. And there's nothing like uh, being in that atmosphere to be able to brew your beer in. Hmm. And it's considered fairly affordable at Hopsters, $150 to $200, depending on what you're brewing. Right, that's for you and two friends, three of you, three to a kettle, and uh, you can spend the whole afternoon uh, brewing your beer. You'll actually leave not with your own beer, but with a case of beer apiece of some flavor you've decided that you might want to have. And the best part, perhaps, of all is, of course, no cleanup. Key. Key is no cleanup. <laughs>